What's up YouTube? Jeff back again and today another very exciting Samsung video for you guys. Today I'm going to show you guys how you can expand the options on your power button menu. So when you long press your power button, right now of course you have the three options, power off, restart, emergency call, and of course side key settings at the bottom. I'm going to show you how to get an awesome new feature called lockdown mode that basically makes it so that your phone is a little more secure if you have other people around who might want to look at your notifications, things like that. It's a really cool trick. We'll get into how to do that today. Before we do, I want to remind you guys, if you're interested in saving some money and getting some premium wireless, you can switch to my partners over at Mint Mobile. They have premium wireless starting at just 15 bucks a month. They also have plans that fit everyone's needs. They have a five gigabyte a month plan for 15 a month. They've got a 15 gigabyte a month plan for 20 a month, 20 gigabyte a month plan for 25 a month, and unlimited plan for $30 a month. All their plans come on limited talk and text, nationwide coverage, mobile hotspot included as well. Mint just added data to all of their plans for no additional cost. They upgraded all of them. They do this very often, which is something I love about Mint. It's very simple to switch to Mint. You can either get an eSIM or a physical SIM. And if you get the physical SIM, they will send you out a SIM tool so you can pop out your old SIM, pop in the Mint SIM, and let the savings begin. Now, I've been using it for about eight months here in the Phoenix area. I've loved the service. I know a lot of you guys have checked it out since I've been talking about Mint on the channel. If you haven't done that yet, now is the perfect time to do it because if you go today to my link, mintmobile.com slash Springer, it's also in the pinned comment description, sign up for any three-month Mint Mobile plan, get in touch with me via Twitter, DM, or email, and I'll send you out a free smartphone case of your choice. It can be any brand, any case, any phone manufacturer. This is my beautiful new Amethyst Kadabe case sheath for the Galaxy S23 Ultra, which I love. I'm sending these out as a personal thank you. All you got to do again, go to mintmobile.com slash Springer. Sign up for any three-month Mint Mobile plan. Get in touch with me via email or Twitter. And we do appreciate Mint for being partners with the channel. So let's go ahead and talk about this awesome feature where you can expand your power button menu options to include lockdown mode. So the way you enable it is you go up here to settings and then go to lock screen. And the third option, you'll see secure lock settings. So you do have to put in your pattern or your pin to do this. And there's actually quite a few things in here that I want to talk about. The very last one is the one that adds the extra option to your power button menu, which we'll do in a second. But I want to talk about the other ones because a lot of people don't go into this menu or they don't even know that it's there. And it is a very useful menu because there's a lot of cool things you can do. The first one is if you do have people around that might be trying to look at your pattern and when you're putting in your pattern like I did just now and you don't want them to see it, you can turn this off. And then when you do the pattern, it's not going to make the pattern visible. It won't leave the trail. So that's pretty cool. The other thing is auto lock when screen turns off, you can go in here and choose to do immediately five seconds up to 30 minutes. Obviously, if you're worried about people getting into your phone, we don't want them to, then immediately makes more sense. Although five seconds is the default. Ooh, I changed it to five minutes. I don't want that. Five seconds is the default uh, on all the phones as far as I know. Lock instantly with the side key. So if smart lock is in effect, the phone will stay unlocked. Obviously, if you have on like your watch or some other trusted device or you're in a trusted location, um, lock network and security. Um, this one prevents Wi-Fi and mobile data from being turned off when your phone is locked. Basically, this means people can't just go into the swipe down the settings and the lock screen, turn off your Wi-Fi and mobile data, um, which is important, especially if you're using Find My Mobile um, to track and locate your device in case you lose it. If someone were to turn that off, then obviously they could just steal your device and you wouldn't be able to find it using the Find My Network, potentially. Um, and then the last one I'll talk about before I do the show lockdown option this is auto factory reset, which is a very dangerous option to enable if you are someone who forgets your pattern, your pin, your password very often. After 20 incorrect attempts to unlock your phone, it's gonna reset it to factory default and all apps are erased, all files and downloaded apps are also erased. So this is a good feature. If you're worried about you potentially losing your phone, someone tries to put in your pattern, your pin a bunch of times, it, it just erases a phone so they can't get any of your personal data. But if you personally sometimes forget your pattern, your pen, your password, and you put it in 20 times incorrectly, it's also going to erase it. So you got to be very careful with this. I don't leave it enabled myself personally, even though I don't really have any trouble forgetting my pen. I probably should actually, because I don't really ever forget my pen or my password. And it's a good security option to have. So the last one is down here, show lockdown option. Display a power button option that turns off smart lock biometrics unlock and notifications. So if you turn this on, go back here, long press on this side key to get the power menu. Now you have lockdown mode. You can see it right here. And if you tap lockdown mode, now you're no longer gonna see notifications here. 
you're no longer going to see biometrics. So there's no fingerprint down here. Can't put my fingerprint in. Um, and you're also going to see smart lock would be turned off. So if I had my watch or trusted location to unlock the phone, that would also be turned off there. So then, of course, you can, you know, go back here from the lock screen and turn it on. And then once you hit the button, it only does it one time, right? So lockdown mode basically is on until you unlock the phone with your pattern or your pen, password, whatever. And then it's back to traditional. You can use your fingerprint again. Smart lock will work. Your notifications will be back there. So basically, if you're around somewhere, you don't want someone trying to snoop on your notifications on your lock screen, it's great for that. Just go ahead and turn on lockdown and then your notifications won't show until you go back into the phone again and then you'll be able to also use your biometrics. Anyway, some really cool security options inside the lock screen settings that I think a lot of people don't really dig into. Something you should check out if you use this Galaxy phone. Again, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like, comment, subscribe. If you want to get some premium wireless and also a free smartphone case, go to mintmobile.com slash Springer. Check it out. Get in touch with me via Twitter, uh, DM, or email, and I'll get you out a free case if you sign up for any three-month Mint Mobile plan with my link, mintmobile.com slash Springer. And I appreciate you guys checking out the video. I'll see you in the next one. Thanks a lot for watching.